Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Now here is the question. Two point like objects of masses 20 gram and 30 gram are fixed at the two ends of a rigid massless rod of length 10 cm. This system is suspended vertically from a rigid ceiling using a thin wire attached to its center of mass as shown in the figure. The resulting torsional pendulum undergoes small oscillations. The torsional constant of the wire is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 Newton meter per radian. The angular frequency of the oscillations in n into 10 to the power minus 3 radian per second. Then we have find out the value of n is. And this question is asked GE advanced 2023. In this question, we have given two masses 30 gram and 20 gram kept over a massless rod and its length is 10 cm is connected with uh, massless wire and this wire is connected with rigid ceiling. And uh, here this distance from the center is 4 cm, 6 cm because uh, total distance is 10 cm. And torsion constant is k equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 Newton meter per radian. All this value we have given that. Here you know that when it is being to be rotated, means uh, rotate, then it is being little bit oscillates. Then we have know that t equal to time period of this oscillation to pi i by k. What is i? i is the moment of inertia of this system and k is the torsion constant. So, before we have to find out the time period, we have find out let us first moment of inertia. Total moment of inertia that is m1 r1 square m2 r2 square. Moment of inertia of whole system. Then uh, moment of inertia, what is the mass? Here mass is given that 30 gram. So, 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. And what is the distance from the center? That is 4 centimeter that is uh, 4 divided by 100 convert into meter that is square. What is m2? Here m2 is given that 20 gram then 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 and what is the distance? This distance is 6 centimeter means 6 divided by 100 whole square. Then moment of inertia equal to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 4 square means 16 10040 okay. Here 20 into 10 to the power minus 3, 36, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So here moment of inertia, 16, 3 is 48, that is 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, it reaches to the numerator, now it becomes minus 4, minus 4, and minus 3, that is minus 7. Similarly, 36 to the 7, T2, 0. And same thing, 10 to the power minus 7. Okay. Then, moment of inertia is 480 plus 720, taking bracket, because 10 to the power minus 7 get common. How much? 0, 8 into 10, carry over 1, 4 into 5, 5 and 7, 12. 10 to the power minus 7, moment of inertia. The moment of inertia can be written as 12 into 10 to the power minus 5 kilogram meter square. That is moment of inertia. Okay. So here we get the moment of inertia 12 into 10 to the power minus 5 kilogram meter square kept in this formula t equal to 2 pi. What is the value of moment of inertia? 12 into 10 to the power minus 5. And what is the value of k? Here value is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 8. Okay. Then t equal to 2 pi. This decimal is removed using 0. It is 10 times 10 into 10 to the power minus 5 plus 8. Then t equal to 2 pi. 
10 raised to power 3 t equal to 2 pi that is 10 raised to power 4 and 10,000 then it can be written as root that is 100 equal to 200 pi here the values that is in second okay so here we get 200 pi now here time period equal to 200 pi second then angular frequency equal to 2 pi by t now substitute this value 200 pi 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 cancel out 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 0 0 means omega equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 radian per second so here but uh, we have given that omega equal to n into 10 raised to power minus 3 so convert to 10 minus 3 10 raised to power minus 3 to multiply 10 numerator and denominator then omega can be written as 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3 so here 10 raised to power minus 2 can be written as 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3 okay so now comparing this value n so here n equal to 10 okay so it is the correct answer i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of the video and i remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon thank you take care bye bye